What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a game called Featherfall. A title in which you will play a bird attempting to beat other birds to death to steal their worms and level yourself up. This game has decent combat. Like the combat is fun. Like if you've ever played anything like, not X Anima, I don't think X Anima is going to count. But it's like Dark Soulsy. It's Dark Soulsy in case you were wondering. So anyways, let's start the game on off and we'll see what happens here. I'm just an egg, and I ain't got no legs. There we go. We're a bird that has popped out of an egg, and now we must go into a world of war. There's a stick over there on the right, and we can use that to smack that switch right there. I tested the game out a little bit. You might notice that, like, I tested the game out ever so slightly before this episode, because I wanted to get the control. That might have been a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. I didn't expect him to talk to me. Everything tries to kill you in this game. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Why can't we be friends? I hit you with a tiny piece of wood. It's not even that bad. Ow. It's stingies. Well, apparently we're back inside of our egg right now. So if you're excited about the prospects of bursting forth from an ancient bird receptacle, then we can do it. That right there is an astral worm. What astral worms do is they have nothing to do with ass. And they honestly seem to have very little to do with worms, in all fairness. Um... They make me they make me become stronger. That's the same thing as souls, in case you were wondering. Oh, he had one too. Nice. I would like to Ooh, that guy had one too. Nice! Alright, we got three of them, so we can upgrade our stats in a little bit. I'm the kind of person I like to let my stuff build up. I don't like to use my points right away when I get them, like at a trickle, like one at a time. I'm the kind of person that likes to you you will fight No! Guys, I got bludgeoned. There we go. I got him. I got him. Oh, I can also stab with it. Okay. Come on. Come on, other bird. What you got for me? What you got for me? Yeah, we're getting in this thing. We're getting in this thing. No. No, 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 no. Oh, I hit him behind me on accident because my stick went that way. Nice. We also got more dudes over here, although this dude got a blade. He got a blade, so let's back up a little bit. He's playing pretty aggressive right now. Got him. Laid his ass down. Did he drop anything? I don't think that he did, but there's something behind this crate right here. Let's get it. Another astral worm. Hell yeah. What is this? A morning star. That looks like a better weapon to me, so I'm gonna go for it. We don't have like any stats around or anything else like that. It looks like it gives you a minus. So I think I'm gonna go with this. We could spend some worms right now if we wanted to. I'm gonna let them pile up a little bit, but look, we got ourselves a flail now. Oh, right. I thought morning stars were stiff. Like a morning star had a stiff shaft. I know, don't get too turned on right now, chat. Anyways. I thought that morning stars were like the ball spiky thing on the end of a of a like a hard stick. This right here looks like more like a flail because that's clearly a ball on the end of a rope. I think I I think I hit the box right there and fell off. I don't have any heels right now. That's gonna be problematic. Is that a heel? It's an element. It is. So we can actually press Q and that'll give us some health back on our little meter, just in case the fight starts being a little bit too much for us. Can I break that? What is that? Can I do anything with it? I mean, you can, I guess it looked like he was kind of like being amorous with it. That seems really disrespectful to the dead. So we're just going to move on and not talk about it. Uh, what can I do as a as a running strike with this weapon? Oh, nice. We do like a little spinny thing. Oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. That's like super fast. Ow. That stung. But at least I caught him with a little bit of a shiner at the end. There we go. Oh, it swings so slow. It swings so slow. It really does. It swings really, really slow. So I'm thinking that attack right there is our stuff. That's the one that we really got to lean on and just rely on. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. Worn garb. Oh, that gave us plus one to armor. Hell yeah. And we're no longer breast to the breeze. That's good because, like, birds that tend to show their breasts off to humanity... Especially if they got nice ones, they tend to get thrown in the pot and eaten. So you gotta cover that up real fast and just have, like, plausible denial. Oh, that hurt so much! Oh, that also hurt. Run away. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. I don't think you... I don't think you... I don't think you understand what's happening right here. You need to back up off me real fast. Uh, we're kind of lucky we made it through that one. I felt like that was gonna be definitely fatal for us. And somehow I pushed on through to the other side. Another astral worm right there. Okay. What's over here? What is this? Ooh, an element. Nice. Let me get my health back. I need. My, there's a shiny right there. I don't know how I get to it. 
How do I get to that shiny? Maybe I get like a big jump later? Like maybe I get something with a little bit more like oomph to it? I get like the birdie rocket boots? I mean, we are a bird, so I kind of expect that we should be able to fly. Oh, that hurts, dude. Like how did that hit us when he was facing the other way? Oh, that's upsetting. Like, he hit us like he was facing the opposite direction. I think when he swings the sword back or something, it still hits you. That's a rough one. I think the damage zone is actually on the weapon itself. So even if there's no velocity to it, if you, like, walk into it, maybe you still take damage. Come on. The most loneliest day of my life. All right, we've knocked that guy out. Uh, anything down here? Oh, there's a bunch of you turds down here, huh? Yeah, get him with the AoE. Fix him up with it. That's how we do it. We got an astral worm right there. I don't think it's going to matter. Because, like, if we go down anytime soon... Oh, that doesn't sound friendly. That sounds... I'm not going to go that way. That way sounds scary, and it sounds like something bad's going to happen to me. I'm going to get some more stamina with my worms. I'm going to get a little bit more health with my worms. And I'm going to put in a little bit more DACA, too. We got to have a little bit more beaky boy power out here. So I'm going to sharpen the beak for later. Is there anybody on this side? Oh, nice. We found a nest, so we got our health back. Sweet. And it looks like there's something hidden inside that skull right there. Ooh, and there's a secret spot right here. Who are you? Greetings, traveler. I was loyal once, part of a royal guard, before Queen Zondi's passing. It saddens me still. Can we, like, talk? Yeah. Like, I don't want to hit him or anything like that. Like, because the last guy I hit, it didn't go so well for me. Yeah. I don't know if that guy adds anything. I don't know. I tried out a bunch of key clicks, and nothing happened. Apparently, I'm level 8 right now, so we're, like, getting... We're moving on up in the world. Oh, but the enemies come back Dark Souls style. Okay. Well, I'm just going to finish him off real fast so that we have no enemies to worry about. I really feel like that dash attack. Yeah, we got a heal. Good. I feel like that dash attack is going to be a major cornerstone of me not getting my ass kicked. Oh, that dude's got a big club. I'm going to hit him, you know. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. But I'm going to hit him. Oh, it hurts so much. Yeah, get away from him. Get away from him. Kind of run around for a second. Run around. Yep, give him the old run around. He's going to try and hit me. I know it. Yeah, there it is. Run! Run! We're not doing this. Big Brute Adrian. Yo, Adrian! He's not really swinging. Uh... Like, I don't know where my opening was right there, but we got him a little bit with that one. Oh, it hurts so much. It hurts so much. Okay, let's never do that again. That was a mistake. You made a bad call right there. I think if we can just, like, dance in and hit him every now and again, we'll be okay. But, like, let's not stay in. Like, we're going to give it to him. But we're not going to, like, stay there to, like, get a signature on the delivery. There we go. His health is going down, even from this little whittling we're giving him right now. Oh, he had a follow-up swing. That's not good. I tried to get in there and hit him, but bad luck Chuck on that one. That was nice. That was a good little combo right there. Is he going to do another one? I was going to say, I can't tell if he's going to try and hit me again. Got him with one right there. Got him with two right there, in all honesty. Yeah! Victory is mine! I am king of the boards. I am the king of the boards. Soldier sword, some light mail, and an astral worm. Let's wear the chain mail. We've got the sword. Sword's a little bit quicker, and then we've got a running stab. Okay. All right. I just wanted to see what we had going on right there. It'd be easier if I could figure out, like, 
are they just different attacks that all deal the same amount of damage, or are they like distinct from one another somehow? Is my question. That definitely it hurt him a little bit, so that's good. And it looks like we can combo a little bit more readily with this thing, so I'll probably dedicate to that. Yeah, I don't think you want to do what you're doing right now. If you've got an element you want to drop, though, I'll take it. Oh, that hurts so much. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm out of. I'm out of energy. There we go. Oh my god, I need an element so bad. I need an element something fierce. What is this over here? Oh, that's a big boy. You got an element? An astral worm? Oh my god. He's so aggressive. He's so aggressive. Oh, I got so greedy right there and I didn't pay for it. I got so greedy and there was no comeuppance for it. Oh, man. Sometimes you get greedy. Sometimes you gamble and win, baby. Sometimes you gamble and win. Sometimes you gamble and lose horribly. That's the entire functioning principle of Las Vegas. It's the entire thing. That's the entire point of it. The Westland Ruins. Oh, cool. We found a nest. Nice, dude. I need that. What is this over here? An element. Okay, I'll save that for later. How many worms do I have? Six? I'm going to go ham-fisted on health for right now so that if I get hit, it doesn't take nearly as large of a chunk out of my life. Oh, this guy seems stronger than me. This guy definitely seems like he might be better at this than I am. Is it possible for me to get a shield? I want a shield, dude. Come on. Do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Yep, I'll get up in there. Ooh, there you go. Feed it straight to the gutty bits. Straight to the gutty bits. Nope, ain't gonna do it. A little bit more something for you, a little bit more. What are you trying to do right now? And down he goes. And we got another element for that one, too. Nice. Hopefully we didn't reset the nest right there. Otherwise, that's gonna suck. What do you have right there? Another element? Okay. Oof, I don't know what that weapon does. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be. I don't deal very much damage. Like, this might not be the right direction to go in. There was a branch in the path back here that went down to the left. Maybe there's differing zones. Like, in Dark Souls, you can technically go, like, wherever you want to go straight from the beginning, depending on what order you want to tackle stuff in. But, like, there are some places that are a terrible idea and some places that are, like, an okay idea. Oh, how did that stab not count? How did it not count? I ran that straight through this dude. Get him. Maybe finish him off. Ooh, doubled up on Astro Worms and Alamance. Nice. What was back this way? I don't remember. Oh, that's where the boss arena was. Apparently, they do expect me to go over there. Maybe it's a good idea for me to, like, I don't know. Pump up the jam a little bit and have a little bit more attack. I don't know. Like, we're not hitting very hard. The fights are definitely becoming longer and harder to handle. But then again, maybe the maybe the damage isn't linear either because we were doing like 13 or 14 and now we're doing 18. So maybe it goes up by a grip each time that you do it. I don't know. But I mean, that's still only like a four damage increase. Those guys, I think, still aren't really going to take too much of a love tapping. I don't know if I can jump that right there. I think it sort of seems like maybe, but not really. It's okay. I've got a bunch of elements, so we can just kind of like spam our way through it, but maybe I'm just not doing that properly. Maybe I'm not timing the jump right, but it seems like I can't get in there. Another element, huh? All right. Well, it seems like this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm going to give it my all while I'm over here. I'm going to apply myself thoroughly and see if maybe we can come out of this in one piece. Yeah, I don't think we're... I mean, maybe I just need to combo on him a little more aggressively. 
definitely take that. We got another dude down here. Uh, he can do what he wants to do, but... Eh, it handled him. I took a little bit of damage to get rid of a dangerous enemy. I'll take that as a, a net victory. Come on. These guys are actually, like, easier to kill than some of the other dudes. They're not nearly as bad. They kind of just, like, stand there while you pummel them, which is good. All right, so we got three astral worms. That means I can take that up by another one. I'm going to try and get my strength up because I do feel underleveled for this area as far as my attack power goes. What was up this way? You got to do a giant stick thing. Yeah, that thing's got reach on it. I do feel a little bit exposed right now. Oh, he's got a dash. Okay. All right. I learned a new thing today. Got him. Down he goes, and we found another element. So I'll burn one right now. So we got a little bit of HP left. Is there any way to get up and over there? I assume that birds are apparently not very good at climbing. Is kind of what I'm extrapolating from this situation. Because that's a that's a cobblestone that's only like two feet tall. You can pretty easily step over the top of that thing. I could do it, and I'm a small man. I'm not a big dude, so like, uh, oh. Okay. Definitely uh, screwed the pooch on that attack. I'm going to try and break through his guard. I mean, it's possible that the other enemies were just, like, wimpy. That's the other possibility. The other enemies were just, like, weaklings, and these guys are how they're supposed to be with, like, beefier strength. There's a padlock up there. Okay. I'm not seeing as many secrets around. I think I can get up through these bushes right here. What is that? An element. Good. Well, that dude's got a shield, and he's got the spear. That's a little worrying. I mean, you can feel free to do your thing. But I'm still going to try and get up in your business. Where you at? Oh, he's blocked behind the rocks. All right, we got this. We got this. We got this. I'm going to close. Go for the kill. Perfect. Ended him. We're kind of a badass bird, man. We're kind of like taking care of it. I don't know what these little candy cane monsters are, but... Looks like he's trying to hit me with a candy cane is all. That's all I'm saying. Like he looked like a candy cane monster. Unfortunately, it's not like Dark Souls. I don't think we get like double damage from behind or like the stab animation or whatever. I'm going to keep swinging to get myself out of the way. HP on this dude though. He's definitely a little thick boy. Yeah, there we go. Finish him, and he's down. We got another element, which I hoped we would, because he was a little bit bigger and beefier. So if you're gonna take the risk to fight something bigger and beefier, I feel like there should be some kind of tangible reward there that you can eke out of it for later. Don't put your shield up, just let me hit you. Don't put your shield up. It's okay. We don't believe in shields around here. We believe in all out offense. That's all we care about. That's what I've dedicated my life to in this bird sword game. I see a treasure right there. I see it. Gimme. Ooh, three astral worms. Yeah. I just want my attack to be higher. Partially, it's probably because these guys have, like, a lot of armor. They're all wearing gear just like I am. They've all got chainmail on. Maybe it's possible there's, like, resistances, maybe. Oh, no. Like, it's, maybe? Maybe there's, like, resistances? So maybe they got chainmail on, and that's why I'm not hurting them, like, at all with the sword? I don't know. Let's try the Morning Star for one fight and see what happens. Maybe bash damage will do a little bit better. I have no idea if that's a real, actual thing. Oh, that reconnects. Oh, there's a treasure up there. Hold on. I missed that one. I'm sure you guys were screaming at me in the comments about that one. I'm going to keep going with damage. I feel good about damage. So, like, what else were we looking for down here? There's got to be, like, other locations that we can explore, right? There it is. I knew it was down here somewhere. No, it still does the same damage. This kind of comes down to what attacks you want to have, I guess. I mean, I do like the, the leadoff hit being really fast like that. I like the leadoff hit a lot, but I think I'm going to stick with the sword because it's easier to work with. 
The faster attacks are less risky. All right, stamina's low. Oh, that didn't happen last time. That, like, really, really hurt. I'm going to eat an element real fast. Got him. Perfect. And he's down. Anybody else around here? Ooh, a tower shield? Oh, sweet. I can block now. Hell yeah, dude. The crutch of all crutches is upon us. The shield. Let's do it. That's a joke for the Dark Souls community because there's like always those elitist people in the Dark Souls community. They're like, if you play with a shield, you're terrible. Like, there's always those people around. I like shields. I just like the way they look. I've always been a sword and board player in like every game. I like my sword and board. That seems like it's going to smooth things over a little bit when it comes to like walking right up on my enemies and like eating the hit. Especially since that second one decided not to hit me. I think I'm maxed out on elements, so I'm just going to like use them as my health gets lower. So that if another one drops, I'm not like wasting it. Ooh, barely blocked that one. Alright. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Oh, I like the shield combat. That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. I wasn't sure if I could break guards or not. There we go. I knew I could get him. I knew I could get him. What are the rest of you guys doing over here? Nothing. Man, if you don't have a shield, you're in trouble. Splatty's going to hurt you if you don't have a shield. Man, I hope my attack and everything, and I'm still not dealing more damage. I'm still just doing 10. I do like the shield, though. The shield pleases me. What's wrong, buddy? You look a little scared. Oh, you can have more than nine elements. Okay. All right. Maybe not get thumped by this guy. Let's not get too crazy. Yup, he can thump me right there and then I'll counter blow. Get out of the way. Come on. Come on. Swing that thing. I know you want to. I know you want to. It's not going to help, but you can try. Perfect. So, like, other places that I haven't been yet. Well, there's treasures over here, so I'm going to assume that I haven't been over here. I don't see anything in behind the crates. Let me go get a treasure first. A couple astral worms right there. Oh, he still hurts you with a heavy strike. Okay. All right. Well, you got to learn your lesson. You got to play some defense, boy. That hurt. Luckily, I don't really care about the damage. I got so many healing items at this point. Not going to let it happen. Not going to let it happen. I'm in behind you. It's over. And the fight is won. And we got some XP off that one. Nice. Another astral worm right there. I don't think you know, like, what you're asking for right now. This whooping's about to be severe. I don't know why his shield didn't block that attack. I felt like it was gonna. But then it didn't. Ooh, that only did 17? Gross, that wasn't worth it. That's okay, he's down and I replaced my element. We're all good. This game's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Like, the combat feels a little bit sluggish and weighty, but I think that's kind of what they were going for. Um, I, but I think the accuracy attacks could be a little bit better. Like, the way that the character follows the sword strikes or whatever could be a little bit smoother. Um, telegraphed a little bit better. 
But other than that, like, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying myself right now. It's a simple little Souls-like, but it is enjoyable. If you wanted to get the game, it's $3 right now on itch.io. I'll have a link for you down below. Uh, thank you for stopping on in for some Featherfall. If you enjoyed this or you just enjoy the world of any games, hit that follow button. It helps me out as a content creator and makes sure that I don't go anywhere in the future. Uh, thank you for stopping on in. I'll see you all next time, and hi to everybody.